What is the best way for automating your data entry in QuickBooks Online? Well, it's by downloading transactions from your bank and credit card accounts. To get to that section, first you go to Transactions, click Banking, and the first thing that you have to do actually is to set up an account for downloaded transactions. You select Add Account, and enter your bank name. Select the bank. And then log in using your online banking user ID and password and follow the prompts. So I'll assume that you have done that. Once you set up each of your accounts, so you want to set up your bank accounts and your credit card accounts and keep in mind that we do want to set up business accounts and not personal accounts. Once you do that, you'll be able to see each of your accounts listed up here. You'll see the account name, the balance that the bank is showing, your QuickBooks balance, and the number of transactions that you have to download. You select next account, and you'll see the activity below. So select the third account, same thing. Now every once in a while, depending on your bank, your transactions may not update as quickly as you would like. So you want to update your banking activity. Select Update. And it'll show you the last time that the accounts were updated with your financial institution. And you can select the accounts that you want to update and select Update Now. I'll skip that. I'm going to work with this account, this example, Bank USA. It's telling me that it has 24 new transactions for me to look at. Now, when transactions download from your bank, they go in a holding area, if you will. This is the holding area. So they're not in QuickBooks until you actually accept them into QuickBooks. Here, for example, we have an amount that was received from a rental. And in this section called Add or Match, it's showing me that it thinks it needs to go into an account called Uncategorized Income. Well, Uncategorized Income is probably not the account where I want this transaction to go to. So you can select that transaction and Actually, select your category, and um, this actually should probably be landscaping services income. And I'm going to click add. And notice that when I clicked add, that transaction was added into QuickBooks. Now, what happens if you already entered a transaction in QuickBooks and then you downloaded from your bank account? Is it going to get duplicated? No, it won't. Notice here that it says match found. So that means that QuickBooks can tell that I already have entered this transaction. Now the important thing in being able for QuickBooks to match these transactions with your bank account is that the date, the payee, and the amount must match what's being downloaded from the bank. So dates, amounts, and payees are very important when you're doing your manual data entry to make sure that you get that information entered correctly. Same with checks. If I have a different check number, maybe I entered the wrong check number in QuickBooks, then it won't match up with the transactions that, that is being downloaded from my bank. So you do have to be careful in downloading these transactions. What I recommend is that you download transactions every day and it's just a whole lot easier and faster to do it that way. So in this case, for this transaction where it says match found, I can select accept. And now that transaction is accepted and recorded into QuickBooks. If I want to select several transactions at the same time, say for example, all of my matching transactions, I can select them, and then go to my batch actions and accept selected. If I look at this transaction for Chin's gas, 
I can see that it's not a matching transaction. It is suggesting that I use maintenance and repair, but this really wasn't maintenance and repair. Click to select that transaction and I can change my category and let's say that that was equipment rental. When I click add, that transaction will be added into QuickBooks. You have to be careful with the account that's being suggested by QuickBooks to make sure that is a correct account. And especially if you have uncategorized income or uncategorized expense, you do need to add an accounting category to those. If I want to look at the transactions that I already added into QuickBooks, just select in QuickBooks and you can see the transactions that we have downloaded. There's Chin's Gas. And you can still even undo that if you decided that was not done correctly. I can undo it. It takes it out of QuickBooks and puts it back into my new transactions list. There it is. So that's it. That's a quick and easy way for automating your data entry in QuickBooks by downloading bank and credit card transactions. To learn more about me and my services, visit QuickBooksOnlineExpert.com and my blog, 5MinuteBookkeeping.com.